right, the next thing we're going to do with our build um, is actually install our solid state drive. Um, all we have left is our CD-ROM, our solid state drive, and our hard drive. And we're going to install the SSD first in this particular case because of where the SSD is located on the, or the SSD install location is mounted to the case. Um, as you can see here, um, this case has a design where you actually will install the SSD to the bottom. Uh, these holes align perfectly with the holes on the bottom of an SSD. Um, and there's some little mounting uh, cushion things that we're going to use that the SSD will rest on. Um, if you have a different case, uh, you'll want to make sure you pay attention to the instructions that came with the case because um, there's lots of different ways that cases allow you to install your uh, hard drives and your CD-ROMs and things like that. So you'll want to make sure that you are aware of what those differences are. For this particular one, we're going to show you how this is, this is done. So this is the piece. It's a little gel type piece that we're going to install. And the hard drive is going to rest on it. Or the SSD is going to rest on it. And then we're going to secure the SSD into place with some screws on the back of the case. So I'm going to go ahead and get these placed in each of these um, holes. We have four of these. There's a little groove that it rests in to get it through. Two more to do. It should be pretty straightforward how these goes in if you happen to have this same case or if you happen to have one that's similar in mounting structure. The next thing I need is my SSD, which I'll show you here. So as you can see, the, the mounting screws on the bottom of the SSD are here, and that's how I'm going to attach it. So I want to make sure that the uh, power connection and the SATA connection um, face the inside of the case so that I can connect it, if that makes sense. So I'm, I want to face the power supply in this particular case. So I'm going to go ahead and get this into position. I'm going to get my mounting screws, which I'll show you. They're kind of long and big. This is what they look like. Fairly long in size. And we'll have them come around and uh, you can see on the back here how these will actually go in. I'm going to put my screw in and I'm going to line it up with the little hole for this first one. Get this one attached. And then I want to do the same thing with the others. So we got those two secured down. Now we just need to do the bottom ones. Make sure my holes are lining up. One screw left. Make sure those are all nice and snug, and then we should pretty much be done. Right, and we'll take one more look on the inside. You can see the actual mounted SSD on the bottom there. And that's pretty much it. We're ready for the next step of the process.